because not every company can deliver John Lewis Christmas advert-style success when it comes to their festive TV campaigns. Writer Victoria Joy reminds you of the very worst Christmas ads, the one where the Spice Girl sold out Tesco 2007 like anyone else who spent every lunchtime of the late 90s practicing the routines to say yeah we'll be there and who do you think you are? I was pleasantly surprised when the fearless fivesome announced they were reuniting in 2007. But the disappointment of not getting concert tickets was swiftly outweighed by the double whammy of advertising hideousness that came my way come Christmas time that year. Looking past the fact that none of this lot have shopped anywhere else but Old Bond Street for years and apparently opted to spend that Xmas without their own kids, seeing Emma and Jerry battle it out for worst dramatic performance in a festive advert makes me wish they'd disappeared for good in 2000. Chloe Moritz Brooklyn Beckham's Instagram love story The Wikipedia entry for Joe Boxer claims that the brand pioneered the concept of novelty hanging underwear so perhaps it's not surprising that discount department store Kmart focused in on Joe's festive undies for their Christmas campaign. But surely the advertising execs could have come up with something stronger and less embarrassing than six male models standing in a row jangling their manhood from side to side. It's like a camp Christmas version of the All Blacks Hawk a dance which, let's be honest, never needed to happen. Let's give the colonel the benefit of the doubt and accept that the thinking behind this advert was ironic a laughable send-up of the Christmas cringe we're subjected to every year but even if that was the plan, what we witnessed here is an epic fail. The audio is out of sync, the old dude wielding the garden hose is the best singer among them and one extra even looks into the camera not that I imagine anyone opts for a family bucket on December 25th, but if they did, this terrible ad will have put paid to that idea. Off to the nearest Toby Carvery instead. This is what everyone is saying about Taylor Swift's reputation album I can't help feel for the ASDA marketing team, plus the ad agency who pitched this idea to them, because at storyboard stage it probably looked like a total winner. Show sympathy for busy mums and softly poke fun at the rest of the family what could possibly go wrong. A lot, actually. Although some may have seen the funny side of the behind every great Christmas, there is mum concept, 620 people complained to the Advertising Standards Authority that the ad was sexist and offensive. The fact that it was cleared of being such in January 2013 did and matter much, as the damage to the brand was already done, and their festive fail will live forevermore thanks to YouTube. Stranger Things Finn Wolf hard claps back at fans calling him rude hands up who thought Scott Robbins internet Joseph with a snazzy coat would spend the run up to Christmas 2008 yodeling with a couple of British D-listers and their duck and vegetable boats. Sad, I -S -N -T it. Maybe props should be given to Jason for hanging around that buffet table as long as he did I'd have to be dragged away from the holodeck door kicking and screaming but no props for the fall from grace in signing up as a face of Iceland in the first place. I wonder if they got a free box of pepperoni kebabs to take home. The one where Ronald McDonald was just a creepy guy in a park McDonald's early 80s at least KFC actually shipped in some fake chicken for their ad because the lack of any kind of fast food in this clip makes it all the more shifty. In just a few short minutes, Ronald M. is no longer the cheery clown responsible for the revolutionary tasty happy meal and instead seems to be a bloke in fancy dress and face paint who likes to start conga lines with sad ice skating kids. I've got goosebumps for all the wrong reasons. Thankfully, McDonald's decided to limit their random addition of animated animals to a couple of deer and bunnies, presumably because they've never tried venison or rabbit burgers on the menu. No sign of a cute Christmas cow, for obvious reasons. This article couldn't be all doom and gloom heck, it's Christmas so here's an awesome festive ad that totally nailed the sentiment of Christmas without overloading on cheddar or questionable knitting patterns. The John Lewis Christmas advert 10 Things We Love About It